Does it actually play records? Yes. And does do they skip? No. Really? Good morning, good evening, and good night, gentlemen and gentle women, or lovely women. Welcome back to Car Talks. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're talking about uh, we're talking about CDs, CD players. Are they out of date? Should car makers still give us? Should car makers still give us CDs? That is the topic. You know, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? This whole CD uh, situation is really, really upsetting me, really, honestly. I get frustrated when I go to the shops now and at the moment I'm, I've been really hunting down for some some nice CD players you know double din, single din all oh, the dins just give me an option but now these days they're all starting to give me these options of there is not much of an option they're telling me we're getting rid of CDs uh, stack the, you can't even buy a CD stacker anymore I'm from the old school. I'm from the 90s. I'm, I was born in the 80s. I live life in the 90s and early 2000s. So CDs are a huge thing. They're part of my... That's how I enjoy cars and that's how I enjoy music. It's multimedia. Um, the media display. Um, whatever you call it. You know, it's like... I, I still don't know I still don't know whether it's a positive thing or the wrong thing I think it's too soon to get rid of CDs because CDs to me are the most clearest sounding audio storage div, you know format and then they're telling me that oh no sorry we can't sell you a CD player we can't sell you a sound system with a CD um, slot in it because we want to, you know, manufacturers are no longer making so many of them now, so they're, you know, pretty much out of stock out of all of them. Oh man, that just really aches me, it just really, really upsets me. I'll tell you a story. Some of you guys know I've uh, got that Toyota Supra that I've been working on. You've seen it a few times in my videos, my previous videos, so if you haven't, I would advise and I would encourage that you watch some of my old videos. Put a like on the on the bottom there, just click the like button and also subscribe and share with your friends. I went shopping to upgrade the CD unit because the old one that's in there, the, the, the current one that was in there at the time, it was just like, it was some cheap CD player with a single CD slot, no CD stack or nothing. So I thought to myself, let me just go out there and, and get a new one. To my surprise, they hardly had anything on the on the display wall there that, that I wanted. I said, where's the CD on these things? Do these things still play CD? And the guy looked at me like I was out of space, like I'm a, a Martian or something. He looked at me like, CD? What do you need a CD for? What do I need a CD for? Everything is on your phone these days. I said, dude, I've got like a whole stack of CDs in my CD carry bag. I'm kind of old school. I look young, but I'm kind of old school. I still like my CDs and he looked at me again like oh come on and he, he told me to move on like just just move on that's old stuff and I said to him can you guarantee me if I get that multimedia 
unit with no CD slot in it, is it going to be as clear as having a CD? And he said to me, sure, it's just as clear, if not clearer. And I said, well, I'm very surprised, man. I've never heard that before. Can it really be more clear than the better quality than a, than a real than a CD the original CD guys please enlighten me on this are CDs less clearer than Google music YouTube music uh, what do you call it? Um, what are the other things iTunes music the download the streaming music is it clearer or not clearer what is the deal with this what's that all about is that true yet like, are we are we finally in the age where CDs are not as good as download is that true I really really want to know the answer to this little puzzle I've got in my head now and you know what happened I walked out of that shop with the uh, biggest regret for the next one week, I was forced to download music, stream music, so I could enjoy driving my Supra. And I'm still not convinced that that streamed music is clearer than the CDs I, I could have put in there. I just... I'm having the biggest buyer's remorse right now. I, I was that close to returning it and saying, dude, this CD uh, multimedia player, I don't know, man. I'm missing my CDs. Honestly, I missed my CDs. The only reason I didn't return it is that because I've just got too many... I've got so many cars right now that if I wanted to have... If I wanted to jump into a car and enjoy my CDs, I could. For example, the Citron that I'm in right now, it's got a CD player. Six, right there. Maybe I will just show it to you right now. I got right here. Can you see that? Each one of these buttons is a CD in here. So all I have to do is just press this button and I get to play my favorite music. So he tells me that, oh no, you know, move on you know we're living in uh you're living in the past hmm. he's probably it could be right i mean i know at some point i have to move on from cds there will become a time where cds will be just like record just like records where i mean who wants to be carrying a record in their vehicle and just going like do you guys have a record player in here I've got this see this big record. I just need to put it in somewhere. Do you have a record player? Once upon a time, people did have record players in the car. Surprising, but it, it was that way. Cars had record players in the boot of the car. Some of them inside the car, like in the you know glove compartment. You pull it out, and there's, there was a a record player in there. And you could carry like the mini record, maybe like a small record, and put it in there and put it on there and start playing. And you could play it while you're driving. You could play it. Obviously, it would be a bit rough when you're driving. You have to be real smooth. But when you're stopped at a standstill like now, you could just sit in your car and just. You tell me that you need me, then you go and cut me down. But wait, you tell me that you so just like that, you could just turn it on. Your favorite CD, your favorite record. So yeah. Sorry guys, I'm really enjoying this uh, studio of mine. I hope you guys are enjoying this studio because this is really interesting to me. I, 
this car is really interesting. You see like up here, it's got a glass roof, glass everywhere. I'm surrounded by glass. So, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, CDs, records, they're gonna ex get extinct soon. They're gonna be extinct, completely extinct. We probably, I'm estimating in the next five years, CDs will be so, uh, they'll be gone. You'll be finding them in the antique shops, just sitting there. Oh, CDs. Remember these things back in the 2000s? How great they were, how clear they were. Our kids won't have CDs. They, would, they won't even know what a CD looked like. They'll think it's something else. And they'll, they'll think it's crazy first thing. They'll think it's the craziest thing to carry around a disc. A compact disc. That's what CD stands for. Compact disc. Keywords. Hope that's an education for the day. I've learned some new words today. CD means, stands for compact disc. Tell that to your teacher. All you kids out there. So, uh, yeah. So compact discs. Sounds weird just to say it. But compact discs will be extinct. Very, very soon. Write in the comments what you guys think about CDs, compact disc. Maybe talk about records I don't know depending on what area you're from and multimedia streaming devices if you're from the new generation born from maybe 2000 onwards if you're born in 2000 so you're a young little young, young tucker you can maybe talk about these uh, new features these new functions these new new medias of downloading music for your car and how great that is educate me on that because I think it's good and it's bad all at the same time I think you should you should just be able to have both why can't you have both that's my that's my uh, my only puzzle my only question is why not have both some of my old cars have both they have CD and they have a multimedia function, a streaming function as well. And it gets worse. Some of these cars they don't even they don't even have uh, any maps loaded onto the system on the unit itself. So if you don't have your phone on you, I'm sorry, you can't you can't GPS map anything. It's not gonna work unless you're carrying your phone. Mama says Ben's got a a system, a, a head unit, a double DIN with a flip screen, an old one. Probably, I'm gonna guess it's probably seven years old, and it's got all the the maps downloaded already, loaded up in the system already in a unit. So no matter where I am, as long as I've got that car, I'm driving that vehicle the map is always there if I forget my phone map is always with me in the car with my Supra it's a whole new ball game it's got the whole new system in there the multimedia unit which doesn't even have stored whatever you call it media in it it doesn't have anything stored inside it you have to download everything store it into your USB and then put it in there and you gotta keep it plugged up you gotta have your phone in your car so it Bluetooth wirelessly to your vehicle so you can access the map that's ridiculous come on Pioneer come on Sony come on Alpine 
Stop being so cheap and give us everything. I'm, I paid $600 plus and I didn't even get no, it was $700 US uh, Australian dollars and I didn't even get everything. I didn't even get a CD slot. It's ridiculous. Anyway guys, you've heard enough from me. I'm signing off. Over and out.